archers out for semi-final number one. Let's go down. On target number one, winner of stage one of the World Cup this year, seven-time World Cup medalist, final champion of 2019 in the World Cup, representing Spain, this is Miguel Alvarino Garcia. On target number two, Youth Olympic Games champion, world mixed team champion, 14-time World Cup medalist, representing Korea, Lee Woo-so. Our line judge for this match is Christina Rittmeyer, and we're about to get underway. Well, what a lineup we have here. Lee Woo-shook, one of the favorites here in Korea for well, a medal at any competition that he enters. But he's going up against Miguel Alvarino from Spain, who won in Antalya. The pressure is off this 27-year-old Spaniard. He's already qualified for the World Cup Finals. Will that play a part in this semi-final place? Up for grabs in the gold medal match, and it is Lee Wu-Shuk. We'll get the match underway. Opening arrows in nine. Buena. Ten points. Ten. Ten. Nine. Well, all square, so this first set comes down to the final arrows from each of the archers. A little bit of wind picked up eight there, and that looks like it's drifted over into the eight. Probably 27. Can Alvarino get over the line to the first two set points here? See the tension at four draw. Long hold. Oh, he's just about got it into the nine for a 28. And Alvarino takes the first two set points. Exactly what we needed, Nicky, for a competitive match. Absolutely brilliant start from him. Like we said, we know how good he is. But interesting that the uh, ice bag is on Lee's neck. Perhaps an injury just there. But uh, characteristic eight Scores for the Korean means that Al Marino, the winner in Antalya, has put himself in a position already. That first arrow was a super super. Concentrated look on the Spaniard's face at the end of that set. Second set, about to get underway, and Lee was shook. Shoot the first arrow. See the wind just blowing straight. And that is an eight. He did low. Yeah, he actually waited a bit there. You get 20 seconds to shoot your arrows, and he did wait a few seconds to see if that wind would pass, and it didn't. He got caught by it. Eight points as well. 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 Eight points as well.
Can Marino handle the pressure? We see Iceback go back onto the neck of Lee in between his shots. So, a couple of stray arrows at the beginning from both of them, and then that last one from Alvarino means Lee has drawn a level at two set points apiece. Can I ask him in the dark question? Is, is that uh, ice bag just because it is really hot out there? I mean, it could be um, to cool you down if you put it around your neck. I guess it's going to cool you quite quickly. To be careful of these things, obviously. But yeah, it could be a cooling mechanism rather than an injury. That is that is entirely possible. Well, we get to follow the flight of the arrow there, and uh, Lee finds himself on level terms in this semi-final. First of two for the men's recurve competition. Third regulation scoring set. Mr. Ia Perea shooting first on target number two. Set number three of this men's semi-final. He was shook up against Mikhail Alvarino. Green to shoot first. Ten points. with this plastic on his chest guard, so you can see the string is just touching the chest guard. With the string coming through nice and cleanly, not getting stuck on the chest guard. Ten. Ten for Lee to take the lead here. Ten, ten, ten. Vincent on the line for a perfect 30. And what happens with Alvarino? Lee is 4 2 up here. <laughs> and a 10 there, but not enough to catch Mr. Eden, who leads by 4 2. It will well, both be the last arrows marked up for measures. And actually, Next set. Alvarino, if his is marked up and the leads, it remains the same. Set number four will be, will be next. Level on score. I actually have to wait for confirmation. That's Lee's target. That does look like that top arrow is just breaking the line for this a time. It's going to be Mr. Alvarino, the winner of stage one in Antalya, Turkey, a month ago. This is the one that was the final one. Just Alvarino blocked out from a uh, view by the first arrow, but I think it is a perfect 30. 4-2 lead for Lee Wu Siok on home soil. Well, I think that's suggesting that he's getting a little hot here, Mr. Lee, and the ice bag is actually to cool him down. Unless he's suddenly got an injury to the head. Let's hear for both of these great archers, ladies and gentlemen. So Alvarino finds himself behind for the first time in the match. The Spaniard will shoot first. Fourth set to do with fighting back straight away. Nine. Ten nine liner, probably ten. Nice quick shot on the line. The system says it's a nine. Judge, I think. Ten. Ten. Great shooting. Just great. Just a little adjustment there. Going high right. Yeah. Let's drag it across, but uh, it's got a 29 here now. A 10 here. 
means that that measure becomes very important on arrow number one. And it is a 10, so a provisional 29, but we have to wait for the measure on that first arrow from Lee Wu Shuk. Is it just cutting the line? From our viewpoint here, I don't think it's in. Yeah, I think it's out. Look, you can see a little bit of yellow between, so it's going to be a 29 match. That means the points will be shared. Six required for the win. Oh, no, no. Oh. <laughs> we just saw the uh, target judge pointing up there, indicating the arrow would be measured as a 10, and then very quickly pointed down, saying, no, no, I went wrong. No, that's definitely a 9. So it is a 5-3 scoreline here. Not quite enough for Lee Wu Shuk to book his place in the final. We will have at least... One more set here. Marino needs to win it. He'll shoot first. Lee just needs to match one of our Marino shoots to, let, to book his place in the Grand Dew final. Final regulation set. Set number five, Miguel Arreno of Spain, the winner in Antalya, trails by two set points, has to win this set. Ten, dead set. <laughs> oh, on the spider. Dead spider on that shot. Boom. Oh, ten points. Oh, what a shot in reply from Lee. Oh, a little sigh of relief there from Lee Wu Shuk. Eight. Oh, that's drifted up into the eight. Alvarino has pushed Lee Wu Shuk to five sets here, but a seven is enough for the win and a place in the final. And he finishes with a perfect and takes the match. Seven set points to three. What a fight back, though, from Alvarino in set number four, but it wasn't quite enough in the end. The winner in Antalya will go into the bronze medal match, and Lee Wu Shuk goes into the gold medal match. Can anyone beat the Koreans?